Hey guys, so if you've stumbled upon this video, you've stumbled upon my first video on this channel. Uh, I'm not new to YouTube, I've been doing it for going on seven years, maybe a bit more than that. But I wanted to start a second channel for my other hobbies. This is kind of a creative channel, like board games and miniatures and just a load of cool stuff. Whatever I fancy posting, I'll post. And really, it's just about you guys getting to know me, me getting to know you, building a community here. And perhaps you are a follower of my movie channel. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to that channel if that's something you want to check out. I do reviews over there. I've been doing it since 2017. So a little bit of background before I show you what I bought. Uh, I've been a Warhammer fan since I was a little kid. When I was a little kid, my parents really didn't want to spend that much money on a hobby because I was just... Like, finding new hobbies all the time. I was still trying to figure out what I was getting into. My uncles, they had, like, loads of Warhammer, right? They had the whole scenery thing and all of that. Like, so I would go over there on a weekend and play Warhammer. And uh, I never got heavily into it myself because I didn't own any Warhammer, really. I, I owned bits and bobs over the years. But I was never really, like, heavily into it as much as I wanted to get into it. But... Older now, I can buy what I want to buy, and yeah, I invested some money in Warhammer 40,000, and I'm looking forward to getting started. I kind of know, you know, I know the Chaos Space Marines. I, I have some knowledge about Warhammer and its lore from years ago, so I'm interested to see how much it's changed. I used to be into, like, the Gene Stealers. They were my favourite kind of cult army to have and to use. This isn't everything that I bought. I'm still waiting on a delivery from Amazon. I need to, we need to go and get some glue from Hobbycraft today, but um, the first thing I did get that I will show you is this is the main thing, right? And I got this on Amazon. I've got to do this really gracefully somehow without knocking everything. Uh, so I got the Warhammer 40,000 uh, Command Edition starter set, uh, which obviously says start here, so it's like perfect for, for people getting into it or getting into it after a long time. And this is what you get on the back. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Uh, so you get the board, like a play board, and you get a load of scenery as well, which is, this is why I bought this pack predominantly, because I wanted all the scenery. I wanted, like, enough to start everything. It's got dice. It's got, like, um, range meters and all that kind of stuff. It's got a big booklet. So, yeah, I've got lots to do. <laughs> so that's the first thing I got, and I'll, I'll unbox that in just a moment. The other little thing I bought and picked up was this. Uh, so it's a paint and tool set. Uh, again, I got this on Amazon and it comes with it comes with 13 different colours. It comes with some clippers uh, and a little file and a little brush. Um, I've heard the brush isn't great so I've ordered a different brush on Amazon. Um, so yeah, I've got a... So yeah, I'm excited about that. That looks that's awesome. I don't know whether it comes with an extra figure. I don't think it does. So yeah, let's let's take a look and see uh, what what we get in this in this big box. First, I've got to find where this box actually opens. <laughs> I assume it opens on this side. All right, I think I got it here. I think I got it. All right. So this is what you get. Nothing else in that box. Uh, okay. So obviously we've got. A lot of things to cut out of these. I don't know what you call these, guys. What do you call these? Leave me a comment uh, in the in the uh, comment section. But yeah, you get just obviously like a load of these. We can dig down underneath, and we get a poster. So that's kind of cool. I'll put this. I'll put this. Uh, oh, I think it might be like a map to do things on. I don't know. I don't know, it's cool. I might just use it as a poster. I might just put it up behind me. It's kind of cool for me backdrop because I've got a big cutting board anyway, like a, a paint sort of crafting mat anyway. So that's kind of cool. I, I'm really looking forward to painting the scenery because I've never done scenery before. Like whenever I've bought Warhammer in the past, it's never come with scenery. All right, so straight away you can see the command manual. All right. Uh, right, so many of these things. Okay, so we've got a load of bases. These are, I assume, are for the bikes. If I can pick them up. You got all the bases there. 
So yeah, you've got the bigger bases for the bikes, I assume. Which I have done before. And I remember them being very fiddly, so... That part I'm a little bit nervous about. Right. Here's the, the, all the dice. And obviously you need a lot of dice for Warhammer. Then we've got our manual, which we'll dig open. Oh, there's some more bases underneath. Let's get those out of the way. It's really hard. This is laminate. Like, it's got the packaging, so I'm... It's hard to pick up the uh, bases. Right, let's move those bases out of the way for now. All right, and we'll we'll unpackage this. So let's let's do that. So much packaging. All right, so we have the command module, which um, module I meant manual, which looks like it tells you just kind of how to get started. It's got like a load of law. Some awesome artwork. How to build the captain. Turns and phases like a how to play. I think this is kind of like telling you like, you know, the stats of the different units. How to build the Necron Overlord. How to build the scenery. And like how to play this specific scenario, right? And then you've got a load of different sets at the back. So that's the command manual. Then we got the rules, which is 180 pages, I believe. Obviously, this goes into all the different Warhammer rules, the different phases, what different things mean, like objectives, crossfire, forward push, shifting front, no man's land, all out war. Like, there's just so much there. Competitive play, obviously, as well. Um, and you've got all these different missions that you can set up as well like to follow a story and then you've got a rules appendix as well which is always handy and obviously we've got some great artwork as well i love the warhammer artwork that's one thing that really attracts me to this hobby then we've got uh some stats for our units which is always handy to have i'm glad that these are on here and i don't have to go buy a codex because that's what i used to have to do with warhammer um so it's got all the, the stats here which is cool Everything's here for me. So I can play right out of the box, which is really nice. It's just what I wanted it for. Then we've got a game board, which I'm not going to get into now. I will be going through uh, my first playthrough and all of that. So you'll see the board then. And then we've got all these different... Um, oh, we've got the different rulers. So how far you can move, how far you can attack, and stuff like that. And then you've got these transfers that you can put. These are water-activated transfers, I believe. So you can put them on your units if you want. Uh, so yeah, that is everything in this set. Let me just go ahead and put this back. And then uh, we're, we're going to unbox the paint and tool set and just have a quick look in there and see if there's anything worth mentioning. All right, so... We've got the paint and tool set. Let's do this thing. Let's open this one up. So kind of standard uh, what you'd expect from this kind of kit. You've got the clippers, which I've been told aren't that great, but we'll see. I haven't like purchased another set yet. I think I do have similar uh, tools anyway, so I'll have a look later. Being a guitarist and stuff like that, I'm, I've probably got some wire cutters that will maybe do the same job, I believe. <laughs> Um, I believe this is, well, I don't actually know what this is, guys. So let me know what this is. I, I don't know. Let's, let's have a look at the back. I literally have no idea what you use that for. No idea. <laughs> let me know, guys, if you know what this is used for. Then we obviously have our paintbrush, which again, I've ordered a different paintbrush because I've been told that this one isn't that great for painting miniatures. Uh, and it doesn't hold a lot of paint, so I'm not going to be using that one. Um, then we've got our standard kind of colours. So we've got kind of a, a brassy colour, blacks, greens, reds, golds, uh, whites, um, blues. So yeah, kind of, you know, standard colours. I do have a ton of other acrylic paints and I wasn't sure how they would sit on the models. Um, so I just thought, say, better safe than sorry. To get these official uh, Citadel ones. Citadel are the ones that do the official Warhammer paint. Uh, so 
yeah, decided to go for this. I do have, um, yeah, like I said, some different acrylic paints because I'm generally, I like painting with acrylic paint anyway. So um, acrylic paint isn't new to me, but painting on plastic kind of is. Uh, it's probably my weakest part of doing Warhammer is the painting side. So I've been learning a lot from YouTube and stuff like that. It's more so like getting the, the, the figures looking detailed. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to digging into doing the painting as well because I want to improve on that. I want to get better at painting Warhammer figures. So guys, leave me some links to what your creations are. Um, I do have a Discord server that I'm going to set up as well if you want to join that. Uh, and what kind of content do you want to see from me? I mean, if you guys know me, then you'll know what I'm into. Do you do you like specific Warhammer content, perhaps? Like, just let me know in the comments. I want to, you know, meet some new people, get involved. And uh, yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got, in terms of other things that I'm doing, uh, I've got, I've just bought Pandemic, the board game. So I'm going to be playing that for the first time. And uh, documenting my experience with that because I'm a huge board game fan, a tabletop fan. So I've got that. I play Magic. I play Disney Villainous and Marvel Villainous. I do a load of Lego. I collect a load of NECA figures and Funko Pops. So all of that kind of stuff is going to be here as well. And I'm going to be doing trailer reactions on this channel rather than my other channel because uh, it kind of draws focus away from my kind of professional edited reviews, I guess. I don't want to dilute that content over there. So, yeah, trailer reactions are going to be over here. And we'll be able to talk about more of the nerdy side of movies as well, which I'm looking forward to. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. I'll see you real soon. Take care of yourselves. Guys, if you like that kind of content, click on one of these videos uh, to go across to my other channel and find some content there. Thank you for the support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.